So a buddy asked me to redo this logo for him. He wants it on a board and uh, had a hard time finding it. But I found the font online and I recreated it. And I thought I'd just go through on Vinyl Master Cut how to do so. So that's the finished product. And uh, I'll walk you through what we're going to do here. I'm just going to create a new document. I'm going to put a text on the screen. I'm going to create two different lines. I'm going to grab this font that I found on the internet, LHF Equinox. The top line I'm going to write one word and the bottom line I'm going to write another. And then we're going to come in later and we're going to remove some of those fancy little diamonds and stuff like that that are, that are there in the text. And we're also going to edit the R because if you look at it, the, it, it just, it's a little too long. So right now I selected the text and I'm using these little shortcut keys to center it on the screen. Um, C and E center it uh, vertically and horizontally. And then I'm just moving the text around, getting it the way I want it. <clears throat> Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and select both texts and group them together. And you have to select one and select the other. And then there's a group button down at the bottom. You can also right click on it and say group. But what this does is as you move things around, it moves it around as one instead of multiple objects. So I'm just going to hit the uh, control E, control C again, move it back up to the middle of the page. I'm sorry, you don't even have to hit control C and E, it's just C and E. So we'll stretch it out. Now I'm gonna go into node editing mode. Actually, first thing I'm gonna do is convert it to curves. So now it's no longer text, I can't type on it anymore. It's, it's actually curves. Um, What you do is you click on this note editing mode, which is the second arrow with the swiggly line over there on the left hand toolbar. You have to click on it and then put a box around it. So clicking on it and putting a box around what you've got selected will select the entire object and then just hitting delete on the keyboard will get rid of it. This tutorial is really about uh, um, creating drop shadows in a layer around the text. You can see this R is very, very thin. So I'm just gonna real quickly go in and go into node edit mode and, and I'm gonna grab each one of those individually and pull it away just so that um, it's a little thicker. It's very, very thin. I didn't wanna cut it off because um, I do like it. It's just, um, it, it would not stain well. It would not, would not paint well. So I thought, uh, let's go ahead and just increase the size. That looks good. I'm gonna click the select arrow again, and then I have the whole thing, and I'm gonna hit Control C, Control V to copy and paste it. I'm gonna use that to replace the other R. Gotta keep clicking in it and eventually it gets it. There we go. And then I just use my arrow keys up and down, left and right to move that around on the screen. Oh, I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna group all those objects back together again. Actually, I'm gonna go into my nudge tool and change it from a half an inch which is a default down to like 0.1, I think. There we go, it doesn't move quite as much. And I can get it spaced just the way I want it. There you go, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna make the text red because that's what it was like in the uh, logo. So now with it highlighted, I'm gonna go up to Object and Outline. I'll change my color to white. I'm gonna change my corner style to sharp. And I'm just gonna type in a fraction of an inch, an eighth of an inch, and accept it. So now we actually have two different objects on the page. There's a white object and a red object. And we'll zoom in.
So right now I have the white object selected and now I have the red object selected. So by holding shift, I can select both of them and then group those together. But that little indicator up there at the top right is a, is a nice little tool to let you know what you've got selected. We'll go back into outline mode again. This time we're gonna create another sharp with another one eighth, I believe. And accept that. So now we're getting pretty close. That looks pretty good. Let's pull up the original logo and take a look at it real quick and see what that looks like. Yeah, there's a drop shadow to it. You can see that. So we can add that in real quick. I'm going to select the black layer and I'm going to create another outline of it, but this time I'm going to do a 1 16th of an inch and accept it. Now it's selected. I'm just going to nudge it to the right a little bit and then down one. There we go. That looks pretty good. That's it. I hope it helps you guys. Have a great day.